Guys, when I am filming this, it is New Year's Eve. So it is December 31st, last day of December. I, you probably are not gonna see this till the end of January because I have been content planning, super proud of myself. One of my resolutions is just to be like more organized and prepared. So I already have all my videos uploaded for the month of January, basically. Um, but this is mostly Valentine's Day stuff, so it's appropriate for me to post at the end of the month. There are three things that were the end of Christmas sale, so I'll show you those three things first and then i'll get into the valentine's day so this box did i went to target twice you guys two different targets you guys are gonna see by the time you've seen this you should have already seen those if you watch all my videos if not i'll link it down below but there is an after christmas sale part one and after christmas sale part two and then i ended up going to target again like i said for valentine's day items but then i noticed that the christmas stuff went down to 70 percent off and I said, I doubt there's much left, but let me go look. And there was only a few things. This was not in either of the targets when I went to the first two, when I showed you guys the first two holes. This was a third target, like a half hour away from me. But this box is regularly $15, which honestly isn't that bad because you get 30 bows in here and you get tons of ribbon. If you guys can see all that ribbon in here. Um... It says right here, um, let me see, it says how many feet of, two ribbons at 100 feet long and one ribbon at 50 feet long because, yeah, there is, like, three different ribbons in there. And then I love all the bows because you get um, get pom-pom style ones, you get traditional ones, you get curly cue, and these literally match a pack of ornaments I bought. If you guys saw that, I bought literally silver, black, red ornaments with, like, white touches, and I do like to matchy-match. Um, I ended up buying wrap paper from there, but the wrap paper is gold. So I think it's going to clash. I might end up giving that wrap paper to my mom and I might just end up buying wrap paper next year in like a silver or a red. But anyway, I only paid $4.50 for this because it was 70% off, which is a great deal for 30 bows and three things of ribbon. And the other two Christmas things I got were these deers. I told you guys I did want to incorporate like deers in my decor. Um, I have one black one that I love that I used on my entryway table. I would have preferred black, but these were the last two left. And they were shoved at the back of a shelf. I'm wondering if someone was trying to hide it and come back for it. These are by Wonder Shop, which is Target's Christmas brand. They're nice and lightweight. I would like to buy like some nice heavy-duty ceramic ones for higher quality, but... Because I have cats, it might not be the best idea. I told you guys, I put all my Christmas stuff away already. Literally a day after Christmas. Because Mango is knocking things over on my entryway table. That's why I never showed you my entryway table decor. He also knocked over my tree a few times. I actually got it on video. Not the tree falling, but you can hear it in the background twice. And people were like, people commented and they were like, wow, that's crazy. So, it's actually better that these are nice and lightweight. I don't know what they're made from. Like, Maybe a styrofoam? I don't know. But anyway, they were $5. I think I cut them for $1.50. I don't even remember, but they were cheap. So I got the last two. So that was basically it for Christmas decor. There are some other Christmas items I got for 70% off, but I am using them for my Valentine's Day hot cocoa bar. I always transition my hot cocoa bar into Valentine's Day. I always, well, the last, since I started a hot cocoa bar two years ago. So I figured these are perfect to incorporate and I got them 70% off. So I will show it to you. Um, this is a little more Christmassy. I'll put it on the hot cocoa bar for now and it'll probably be gone by mid-January. I usually keep the hot cocoa bar Christmassy till like a week or two in January and then transition. That's the only part of my house that's still Christmas. I'm gonna film for you guys. Um, you'll probably see it before this, maybe, because I'll try to squeeze it in because it would make sense to share Christmas things earlier in the month. Um, but anyway, they, I wish I grabbed more bags. They had a whole carriage full of this. This is normally like $5.49 a bag because it's Ghirardelli. It's a more expensive chocolate. This was a dollar fifty, and I love sugar cookie. But these are the ones that are going to be for Valentine's Day. So this box is a little messed up, but it was 70% off, so I grabbed it. I ended up getting four of these. Favorite Day is a Target brand. There's six pretzel rods in here and they're just white with a red drizzle which is definitely christmas but also works for valentine's day and i want to say this is normally 5.99 which not bad it's like a dollar a pretzel stick i think dollar tree last year had two pretzel sticks for a dollar 25 um i remember buying them but these on sale were i think again a dollar 50 for six pretzel rods so this is going to be perfect to put 
on my hot cocoa bar. Now, let's get into the legit Valentine's Day items. I paid full price for these. These were in the dollar spot, but you guys know the dollar spot is extremely affordable. So I picked this set up for $3. So it comes with the napkins. I'm not even sure what's on the napkin. I think it's all you need is love and coffee. Um, it says you get 10 napkins, 10 coffee sleeves, and 10 stirrer sticks. And this just says love is brewing. I'll probably just kind of use this as decor because I don't use like styrofoam cups. I use like my coffee cups. Um, I really got it was for the napkins and this. These are stirrers. How cute is this going to look sitting in a mug on my hot cocoa bar? So, so cute. And honestly, I might not even use them. Or I could use them and wipe them down. It's plastic. Because I might just like hold on to this so I can have it for next year. So I don't have to like keep repurchasing things. Um, and then I picked up this cute little cupcake because I do have a tea tray I keep on my hot cocoa bar. It's all the Christmas things right now. They also had a cake slice and like one other thing. I think they had a full cake, but the cupcake one was the cutest one to me. $3, so I picked that up. And then these little tea tray. These are specifically meant for tea trays. It's, they call it prop decor. So they had two different sets. And I do do red and pinks for Valentine's Day. This one is a little truck. It says special delivery at the heart. This one looks like a red little mailbox with a heart. And this one says, P.S. I love you. And it looks like an envelope. And I love the tier trade decor at Target. The one I have on it right now for Christmas was from Target. And it's $3 and you get three pieces. So very well priced. And then this one says, I love you a latte. And it looks like a coffee cup. This one says love in block letters and i love that the o has a heart and then this one says we go together like cream and sugar like how cute is this gonna look on my hot cocoa bar and then they also have this little sign that says coffee bar love is brewing so i picked that up and i will put that somewhere on the tea tray or the cocoa bar and then this is more of my everyday items that i purchased of course, new year, new me prerogative. I am don't plan on going all out. I do have some resolutions, but it's more like like not like lose weight. Be active, you know, like um, live a more stress-free, calming life, things like that. Probably going to do a video on it. You might have already seen it before you see this one because it's probably going to be a Mass Monday. Mass Mondays are the only videos I don't like pre-film as much. But anyway, so they have a lot of workout things available right now. It's the only reason I said that. I, as soon as you walk in now, it's all like the workout gear in the front and yoga mats and yoga balls. But I did like the concept of this. Uh, me and Joe have been talking about just like being more active. Um, I even bought weights last time I was there. You guys saw this in a prior Dollar Tree haul. I kept them together because now I'm going to go put them away together. Um... I might actually leave these in the living room. I'm thinking maybe it'll make me use them while I watch TV. But anyway, these are Dice Workout Sets. Um, well, one is for workout, one is for yoga. And they're $3 and you get three, so that's not bad. So this kind of tells you what workout to do and for how long. So there's, 10 second, there's 30 seconds, 10 reps, 20 reps. Then this says jumping jacks, leg raises, heel touches, push-ups, crunches, squats and then this one for yoga the two balls show you the yoga pose to do and then over here it says five breaths two breaths and three breaths so yeah they're six sided so it has six different yoga poses it says create unique yoga routines in seconds by rolling the foam dice lightweight portable great for a full body stretch anytime and i've seen people like you can even like if you want to work out outside you can bring these outside bring them to the gym with you like it's just it's a fun different little activity and again like it's so it's six-sided so it has six different exercises this one has great mix of cardio strength and toning exercises again lightweight and portable perfect for group training and fitness classes and i actually went to a fitness class once and i remember them rolling dice they were just like bigger then i grabbed this cute little plant i went with my brother's girlfriend and she loves fake plants, so do I. And she was specifically in the market for some. She was decorating her little bookshelf. Um, and this, I was like, wow, this is only five bucks. I'm going to grab it. So you'll probably see on one of my bookshelves. And then I picked up these two little stems. They were a dollar each. And they look like um, boxwood. It says boxwood pick. And I do love, like, the boxwood look, clearly. That's literally what this is. I like the boxwood, and I like, like, succulents. Um, and lamb's ear those are my favorite but i specifically picked these up because this little vase in the dollar spa which was three dollars i like that it has a rainbow look but it's not super colorful they had it in white pink and blue 
So I got it in the blue. And again, I think this, I'm gonna put these little fake plants in here. Might only put one pick, it's too, too much. Or it could be because the white tag's still attached, so it's having a hard time. Oh, that looks cute. So yeah, I think that I'm gonna incorporate this on my bookshelves as well. Or like my entryway table or something like that. Super cute. So yeah, I mean like, look, five bucks and I got a cute little arrangement. And then again, five bucks and this one was ready made for me. And then they have bigger sizes for more money, obviously. Oh, there was one more Christmas thing. I bought a thing of ornament hooks. I think this ended up being like 50 cents. I don't know. It was a dollar fifty, And it comes with, does it say, a hundred count. And I definitely needed these this year. So I was like, good, I'll have more. Then this was from the dollar spot as well. Super heavy duty. They look really nice. Like you would not tell this is not like a real marble. Um, I'm wondering what it is. Or is it actually a real marble? I don't know because it is heavy. But I find that hard to believe because it's only $5. Maybe it's some kind of stone and then they just put like a marble look sticker on it. I don't know. But this is going to be perfect for my bookshelves. I've been needing bookends. I actually bought some. You're going to see some in a TJ Maxx haul. Those are obviously more expensive. So I'm glad now I have a good mix of bookends for my shelves. I also picked up this little frame. It was 3 bucks. The bookends were 5 Um... Anyway, uh, this is so you can do kind of like a shadow box if you want. You don't have to use it just for a picture like they show it with smushed flowers. I have an art print I bought that I've been needing a frame for and I want to put it on my bookshelf. So I figured this would be perfect for that for only $3. And then I grabbed these cookie cutters. You get five for $3 hearts in different sizes. I thought that would be cute to make heart shaped cookies for Joe. And then the last thing I got was this set of bookmarks. And I didn't really need more bookmarks, but I couldn't help myself. They're the magnetic kinds, and they're the golden girls. I love it. So you have Dorothy, Blanche, Rose, and Sophia. In the front is the character. And then even the back's a little decorated. So for Dorothy, you have a book because um, she was more the studious one. For Blanche, you have a high heel. For Rose, it's some kind of like food item. And then for Sophia, it's her famous little purse. And she's holding the purse over here. Love it, love it, love it, love it. I love the Golden Girls. Um, so yeah, that was everything from my Target haul. Very minuscule compared to the first two hauls. Target got enough of my money this week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, I know the Christmas stuff, you're seeing this really late, but it was more for the Valentine's Day stuff anyway. I will definitely show you my hot cocoa bar for Valentine's Day. That's the only area I, de I decorate for Valentine's Day. I know there are people that go more out, um, but for me... It's not worth doing all, you know, buying all that and doing all that just for a not that important holiday, in my opinion. You know, love is celebrated every day. But the hot cocoa bar, I do like to do. And then I usually, and then by the end of February, I take it down because March is already a little warmer here and it goes back to just a regular kind of coffee bar up until Christmas again. So, and you know, they weren't expensive. So that's, that's what's good about Target. It's really affordable, especially when you catch the sales. But that is it for this haul. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Um, tell me down below what your favorite item was. Do you decorate for Valentine's Day? Was your favorite item the Valentine's Day stuff? Was it the Christmas stuff, even though that's, you know, way past us now? Is it the fake plants? Was it the bookends? Was it the exercise stuff? I always love to conversing with you guys down below. But like I said, this is basically it for this video, guys. Be safe.